In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the seven keys to building an aesthetic, attractive physique. Here's my credentials. Here's me about two and a half years ago. Had some muscle mass, but not particularly aesthetic versus me now. A lot more aesthetics, you can clearly see. Key number one is your shoulder to waist ratio. See, the most aesthetic physiques have wider shoulders with a smaller waist. There's two ways to go about improving your shoulder to waist ratio. Way number one is to expand and widen your shoulders. And way number two is to shrink your waist. All right. So let's get into way number one. To get wider shoulders, the easiest and most obvious way is to build up your shoulder muscles. All right more particularly your medial delts. The best way to grow your medial delts is with a ton of lateral raises. See, typically for lateral raises, I'll start out pretty heavy, do about eight, eight reps, and go down by five pounds at a time until I get to the fives. Do that for three to four sets, tons of shoulder volume. Another thing you can do to improve the width of your shoulders or the least perceived width of your shoulders is to actually grow your lats, right? To widen your back actually helps accentuate that V taper and make your shoulders look wider. So you need to do tons of pull-ups, wide grip pull-ups, and tons of lat pull down, really, really engaging those lats, trying to get them bigger. Now let's talk about shrinking your waist. See, if you're already very lean and shredded, you're not really gonna be able to shrink your waist down because you can't change your hip bones, right? So if you're already lean and you have a big waist, it's unfortunate, there's really nothing you can do about that. Just focus on getting your shoulders as wide as possible. But if you are a little you know, chubby in the midsection, that is taking away from your shoulder to waist ratio. And you're gonna wanna go into a caloric deficit and start to try and lose a little bit of weight. And that's a perfect transition into the next key, which is your abs. If you have a pudgy midsection with no real ab definition, it doesn't really matter how much muscle mass you have, how nice your proportions are, you're not gonna look very aesthetic. If you are trying to look aesthetic and attractive, you're gonna wanna lose some weight to get those abs showing. And a lot of people have this misconception that you can you know, out-train your diet, that you know, if you work your abs hard enough, they'll somehow magically grow through your fat. It doesn't work like that, okay? <laughs> your abs don't really change that much in terms of size based off your training. So the only real way to get your abs to show is to lose body fat. The third key is something that a lot of people overlook. A lot of people don't think about this, but an aesthetic physique will usually have a well-developed upper chest. In most people, when they work their chest, usually just do bench press and dips and you know, some push-ups and maybe some flies if they're feeling fancy. And what ends up happening is you build this, this chest that kind of is, is big at the bottom and kind of underdeveloped and bony at the top. It looks very strange. It's not very aesthetic. And this is kind of congruent with what we were talking about earlier with that Dorito shape, right? Ideally with an aesthetic physique, you want to be big up top and then kind of taper down. But if your chest is small and underdeveloped at the top and then bigger at the bottom, it just kind of makes it look like you got some, some man boobs. The best exercises for your upper chest are incline bench press, incline dumbbell bench press, and low to high flies to really squeeze and engage that upper chest. This is your neck. You see, if you have a beautifully proportioned physique and a really small neck, it looks quite strange. Also, having a larger neck is typically viewed as more attractive, right? They've proven that scientifically. Obviously, within reason, okay? If you have, if you have an absolute tree trunk of a neck. Yeah. So if you wanna have a nice, muscular, attractive physique, you're gonna wanna have a relatively well-developed neck as well. So you need to start working your neck. And if you've never trained neck before, make sure to start light. I don't want you to get injured. Start training your neck about two to three times a week. I'll do some neck curls, about you know, 
three sets of 10 to 12. So two to three times a week, do your neck curls, some neck stabilization exercises, and some traps as well. Is your legs. This is the most taboo topic in all of fitness and lifting. No one wants to train their legs, but if you have a great upper body and terrible skinny stick thin legs underneath, it's gonna look strange. And I'm saying that as someone with a lot of personal experience in this field. I neglected my legs for far too long and I'm still playing catch up, so I don't want that to be you. You are kind of quick hacks to instantly look more aesthetic, not things you have to train over time. So the sixth one is grooming, right? If you are very, very hairy, if you look like a woolly mammoth, it's gonna be hard to be that aesthetic. Truly, if you're wanting to show off your physique, this amazing physique that you've built, the best way to highlight it is to not have stuff covering it. If you want people to see your hard work and you're covered in hair, I'd get to shearing because you know, they don't got x-ray vision. Is your posing. See, I see a lot of people with aesthetic physiques that actually look really good, but in photos, they just look kind of weird because they're trying to do all these you know, bodybuilder style poses. They're really trying to do poses that are meant for mass monsters and people that have excess levels of muscle. But if you're just trying to look aesthetic, the best poses are those by other aesthetic people. So go look at, you know, men's physique. See, the way they pose is they accentuate their good features. They'll, you know, flare out their lats and shoulders. If you pose like that in that more aesthetic, casual manner, you're gonna look a lot better than if you start trying to do all these crazy bodybuilding poses that, frankly, you don't have enough mass for. So learn to pose like a men's physique competitor and not like a bodybuilder, and that will help you look more aesthetic in photos and more aesthetic when you're, you know, in the gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Mason. I'm an aspiring MMA fighter and entrepreneur, and I specialize in young men's self-improvement, and I want to help you guys get better, you know, build the physiques of your dreams, build the lives of your dreams, and just become better as individuals. I have a website. It's maledrama.blog, where I have more information on lifting and self-improvement.